welcome to a book's narrated audio narration of the book titled Diary of a CEO, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Law 30, the three bars for building great teams. In this law, Stephen looks deeper into the principles of building exceptional teams, including the first bar, can they do the job? The second bar, do they believe in the mission? The third bar, do they get along with the team? Balancing the bars effectively. Practical application of each bar. Iteration as an ongoing process and much more. All serving as essential criteria for assembling great teams. Law 30 serves up six key points that highlight the importance of evaluating team members based on their skills, alignment with the organization's mission, and ability to work harmoniously with others. A successful team meets all three criteria, leading to excellence in performance and the achievement of shared objectives. Before we dive in, as you're watching this video, we hope you enjoy our content. But over 70% of frequent viewers do not subscribe. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below. Subscribing takes just a moment and helps our channel more than you can imagine. It makes a huge difference, and as we get bigger, we're able to bring you even more of the content you love. We have so many exciting ideas planned. We truly appreciate each and every one of our viewers, especially subscribers. Let's get started. In Law 30, titled The Three Bars for Building Great Teams, Stephen Bartlett unlocks the secrets behind how the world's most exceptional leaders make crucial decisions in hiring, firing, and promoting individuals within their organizations. Bartlett's captivating storytelling, filled with real-life examples from the worlds of sports and business, reveals why prioritizing culture above all else is paramount when assembling a successful team. The law begins with the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson, widely regarded as the greatest football manager in history, and his remarkable tenure at Manchester United. Ferguson's profound insight, articulated when he joined the struggling club in 1986, emphasized that the culture and values of an organization, fostered by its leader, are the ultimate determinants of a team's success. This notion that culture surpasses individual talent sets the stage for a compelling exploration of team dynamics. Bartlett shares a riveting anecdote involving Patrice Evra, a player recruited by Ferguson, the manager's direct question, are you willing to die for this club, serves as a poignant example of how deeply he believed in instilling a strong, united culture from the moment players joined the team. This culture, according to Ferguson, was the foundation of sustained success. Throughout his illustrious career, Ferguson became known for his steadfast commitment to the principle that nobody is bigger than the club. This meant that no individual, regardless of their talent or fame, could jeopardize the team's culture, ethos, or values. Bottlett's interviews with former Manchester United players corroborate this, highlighting Ferguson's audacity in moving star players when they no longer aligned with the team's culture. Examples of Ferguson's bold decisions, such as parting ways with Jarp Stam, David Beckham, and Ruud van Nistelrooy, showcase his foresight in maintaining the team's culture over individual prowess. This ability to make pivotal decisions, even when it meant letting go of valuable assets, stands as a testament to Ferguson's conviction in preserving the team's identity. The narrative further delves into the world of business, with insights from entrepreneurs like Richard Branson and Barbara Corcoran. They emphasize the importance of removing toxic influences from teams promptly to prevent their negativity from infecting the entire group. This resonates with the idea that a single bad apple can disrupt an otherwise healthy team, a notion corroborated by research conducted by Harvard Business Review. Bartlett introduces his three bars framework, a simple yet powerful tool he has used effectively in his management teams. This framework revolves around a straightforward question. If everyone in the organization had the same cultural values, attitude, and talent level as this employee, would the bar be raised, maintained, or lowered? 
This question helps leaders assess team members' contributions to the organization's culture and make informed decisions about hiring, promoting, or, when necessary, letting go of individuals. To illustrate this framework, Bartlett provides a hypothetical scenario involving four team members and their impact on the team culture. This practical approach helps every reader understand how to identify those who lower the bar, need to be fired, and those who raise the bar and should be promoted. Law 30 underscores the paramount importance of preserving and nurturing a strong organizational culture above individual talents. It highlights the wisdom of leaders like Sir Alex Ferguson who prioritized culture in building successful teams. Bartlett's Three Bars framework offers a tangible tool for readers to apply in their own leadership roles, guiding them in assembling and maintaining exceptional teams. This thought-provoking law will leave you eager to explore more of Bartlett's profound insights on leadership, team dynamics, and the critical role of culture in achieving enduring success in both sports and business. This concludes our book's narrated audio narration of Diary of a CEO, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Law 30, The Three Bars for Building Great Teams. Our mission at Books Narrated is to empower you to make informed decisions about investing in the full book. So if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more engaging content. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Your support is our motivation to bring you the most engaging and insightful narratives. Access the book directly by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks you for listening.